If you offer me something, if you offer me something and I don't accept it, you shouldn't be all bitchy bitchy about it. Let me elaborate more on this. Okay, so yesterday, I'm working at the airport, having a good time, I'm doing my thing. This guy walks in. And this is all virtual, so it's whatever. So he asks for the flight, and I give him his ticket and whatever, okay, take his luggage, and I put it in the bin. So I told him, okay, go to security, go to the gate. So he does this, and he's fighting with my best friend in real life, my friend Joey. And he's fighting with him, and he, I don't know what he was doing. He's role-playing as, like, some kind of FBI agent, and he had a gun, and they wouldn't let him take it through, and then he's fighting with him, like, illegally, like, legally legally so whatever so next thing i know i got people in here like crazy and i'm ticketing them and ticketing them sending them to there and he's sending them to customs and customs are going here and all this crazy ass shit so all this is happening and he he private messages me like hey could you talk to your security person he's not following the law and at first, I'm like, okay, well, it's a game. He's my best friend. What he says goes. And he even said that. He was like, I'm kind of security. What I say goes. You're a passenger. If you don't like it, you should leave. And he, he was pretty calm about this, but no. You gotta start shit, and this is when shit goes down. So shit's going down. And so, anyways, I'm in the middle of this flight. I'm having fun. It was a short flight. It was a... Uh, Rome to Venice or something. Yeah, we did some short ass flight and this guy, he's with us. And all of a sudden, he starts giving me like I was expl you know, explaining the airline why we're an airline, you know, what we try to do and shit like that. All of a sudden he's like, Oh, I want to donate to you guys. I'm not gonna like say no, you know, money. that's perfect, you know, if you want to donate, that's cool. Awesome. I didn't ask for his donation, which I guess it's a donation. You don't really ask for it, but whatever. So anyways, so I give him a thing. He gives us a donation, and he just keeps giving me more and more useless bullshit that I don't need. Like I said, I'm not going to argue to one of my passengers and say, no, bitch, I'm not, I don't want it. So I, you know, agree and take this. So taking the money and we're on this plane and all of a sudden he starts giving me more and more money and i'm like okay i'm not going to disargue with money whatever but it's kind of annoying because every five seconds he wants to give me more and more money and he's like oh yeah i have money blah 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 i have money i'm gonna give it to you i'm gonna be an investor i'm gonna invest into your airline and we usually in real life when you invest in something you get like a portion depending on how much you invest depends on how much you get monthly yearly or i don't even know how fucking stocks goes so don't get me started on that because i don't know what that is i'm 14 i'm not a stockbroker so anyways so he says he wants to be an investor and he'll invest all this money in us and he and at the moment he wasn't asking for anything in return so i'm like okay not gonna deny free shit so you know i do this Everything's good, good. Okay, so again, he keeps giving me more and more useless bullshit. And then all of a sudden, he thinks like we're friends and he works here and shit, which I mean is not a problem, but he's fucking annoying. That's the problem. And I understand, oh my god, you're so mean. Oh, you shouldn't be like that, blah, 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 blah. But he is annoying. He's annoying. He's annoying. And it's annoying that he's annoying. So, anyways, so I'm working on a project on this game which by the way it's static it's i have a hotel retro which if you don't know that search it up because i'm not going to explain it in this video go check out my other videos about that anyways so we're doing this we're doing our stuff and i'm working on a new room for one of the airports because i have like three airports but i'm always expanding more on it if i need more room so i'm expanding an outside area which is sort of a new thing that i was doing and it was i was inspired by this other room but i'm getting off topic so anyways so I'm working in his room, and I have one of my workers, he's really cool, Alex, and he's like chilling, whatever, whatever. My girlfriend's there, Kiana, and she's chilling. Grace, my flight attendant's chill, or my co-pilot is chilling. They're all having a good time. 
And then this guy over here, let's call him Mr. Investor. Mr. Investor is sitting around and he's having a jolly good time and he's just talking and rambling and oh my god, it was annoying. And then he just keeps giving me useless shit that I don't need. Like, I'm like, you know, again, I'm not going to deny him because he's an investor and whatever. I really don't care. Okay, so going five minutes into this video, he gets all the shit. So I get him getting all the shit and I'm like, okay, this is really annoying. You know, maybe I didn't say this, but maybe you could stop. So whatever. So. He keeps giving, okay, so today I logged on and I wanted to work more on my project. I just got home, I got this new shirt, shit like that. Um, and I got home and I logged on and I was working on this thing. And I went BRB for some hour or whatever. Just trying on my clothes and on Facebook or whatever, or shit like that. And then, oh my goodness. I come back on and he's in the room. And like I said, he thinks he's my best friend. He even should, oh my God, I didn't even mention this, but yesterday, last night, I was just chilling and he kept sending me presents to golden friend. And I'm like, okay, yeah, I get it. You're my friend, but we're not BFFs, okay? I don't even know you. We've known each other for like a day and then you're acting like, he's like buying me. I didn't think of this before, but if you think about it, he's buying me as his friend. And I don't accept it because I'm not asking for this money. He's just giving it to me. And I'm, I know that's a hard thing to say. You accepted it as an investor. You're accepting the money. But he's giving it to me. He's dropping it in my room. It's, I, it's like somebody dropped a $1,000, stack of hundreds, $1,000 on the ground. And he says, pick it up. That's for you. And you say, you're not gonna go and say, okay, I'm gonna deny a thousand dollars, especially if you're my age. You don't have to pay rent or shit. You can use that one thousand dollars for however you want. So you're not gonna tell me that you don't pick up that thousand dollars, but it's like picking it up and then all of a sudden we're gonna be best friends, okay? Like, um, I did sign up for this. You kind of just gave me a thousand dollars. And you kind of just tell me we're going to be best friends because you gave me a thousand dollars or that's your motive. I, like, it doesn't make sense. <sighs> so, that's done. Okay. So the next day, like I said, I got on my computer, whatever, and I'm on, I'm building, and he comes in, and I'm BRB. I finally get on and I'm starting to work on my room a little and I'm trying to ignore him because he's fucking annoying like he explained before. He's annoying. He's an annoying person. I just genuinely don't like him. He's a, he's a good acquaintance. He'd be nice if he was distant. He'd be nice if he was a reoccurring passenger if he kept coming and supporting the place. That's awesome. But you don't have to be around me 24-7. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyways. So... <sighs> So he starts dropping money again. Like I said, that's not going to be a problem. So then he's dropping this money and I'm back on, you know, I'm talking to him or whatever. And he's like, I'm going to get rights in the airport, right? Hold up! What? No. And I was like, well, why do you need rights? You're a passenger. You don't need rights. He's like, I'm a board member. So then I'm thinking to my head. I have a list, I have a website, and of a list of, pa of workers that work here. They're on that list, they work here. Some of the pa like workers, they're not on the list because I'm still trying to see if they're keepable workers. Like, uh, some guy yesterday, I was training him, or my friend was training him, and we're going to see how he goes, and he's good, I'm going to keep him, whatever. So, this is going on. And uh, I didn't have them on the list. So I'm like, okay, well, you don't work here, so you don't need rights. And even if you did work here, depending on what you were working as would depend on where you get rights at. That's how it works. And any dumb person could even get that. But he thought, I'm giving you all this money. You should give me rights. And I said, no. And I didn't say no, but I was like, why do you need rights? And he's like, well, I'm a member of the board. And I was like, you are? And he's like, yeah, I'm, a do I'm an investor. And I said, yeah. You're an investor, but you're not necessarily a member of the team. You're just someone outside that invests into a company that's inside, you know? And I don't know what he had going on in his mind, 
But, um, I'm probably going to make this into two parts. So, check out part two.